guide length by one each time all right increase the side length by one we would have to add four squares to complete the the border right so increasing the side length by one increase the border by four squares right and that's where in the in the first borderline of sanity the formula if you remember was four times the side length all right and then minus four right so this four that multiplies the side length is is a representation of what's happening here right every time i increase the side length by one i'll increase the number of squares on the border by four okay so that's where that part of the formula comes from. Now, the other part of the formula is just an adjustment. This part is just an adjustment to make the actual situation fit, okay? So the four that multiplies the side length, that is a count, right? What are we counting by? A constant count every time. And if you mastered or handled lesson 26 in Algebra 1 already, you would have already seen this idea of a pattern. What do we count by times the variable and then plus or minus an adjustment? Okay, if we look at the other situation. was 6 times the length, side length, minus 9 gives me the total number of triangles on the border. All right, so again, this 6 that multiplies the variable is an indication that we're counting by 6s. As we increase the length by 1, we're increasing the number of border squares by six. Okay, so, and you saw from the animation each time why, why there had to be six that we increased by, right? Because it, it took two triangles to fill in a gap and we were opening up one gap on each side. So that's, that's where we got our six from physically. But again, looking just at a table, I'm counting by six. I could build this formula without understanding the physical properties of the triangle, just using the table. So your job is gonna to be to take this next sequence of shapes, come up with a formula for the number of triangles that are around the border. So in this case, it'll be gray triangles, the number of gray triangles on these shapes only by looking at the numbers without really considering the shape.